Hey everyone, in this uh, very quick video, I just want to show you um, how I'm using the new Asana Boards. Uh, boards is a new feature from Asana that came out a couple of weeks ago now, and Boards is a new way of laying out your projects like you can see here. Um, for those people who have used Trello in the past, you'll probably be very familiar with this layout. And so what you can see is we've got columns um, with tasks now arranged as cards in these various columns. And um, it's, it's uh, I suppose, not at all, it's not that different to the current layout options, which is this list view. Instead of columns, we've got sections here and the tasks are just listed kind of in a more concise view. I think I actually prefer this view personally. I've grown used to it having used Asana for a few years because you can see more information at once. But I do think the new boards view um, is really nice to use for certain types of projects. It kind of depends on, on what you're doing. So I just want to show you like a couple of the projects that I've set up and how I'm using boards. Um, having never really used Trello that much in the past, um, I, I'm, I'm still getting used to this kind of column approach. So if you're a Trello user or if you're more comfortable with this um, kind of column view or this board setup, um, I'd love to kind of get some advice from you on, on what you're doing and how you're setting up some of your projects and if you have some suggestions for me. Um, so this is what I'm doing. I've got, uh, this is my Kanban project. Uh, Kanban, the Kanban system is, uh, for some people may have heard of, is a way of um, tracking tasks through various stages. Um, and it basically helps you to limit how much you're working on at one time. So what we've got here is we've got a planning column for things that um, kind of, kind of more project work that I'm planning. These are things that take a little bit of time and energy to, to complete. So I'm planning these things here. There's things that are in progress. These are the things being worked on right now. The objective really is to limit how much you have in this column. Maybe you set yourself a rule like, I can only have three things in here at once or two things at once. And in order to start something from this column, in order to, to move something over and start a new piece of work, you have to finish one of these first. So that's the in progress column. I have waiting here because sometimes um, with the uh, doing technical things on my website, I might be waiting on um, like a technical issue or bug to be resolved. And so I'm waiting on like a support person to get back to me. So I actually just have this as like a temporary holding bay and then complete over here to show the things that I've done. Um, by default, when you mark a task as done, so if I click on this task, if I were to mark it as complete here, you'll actually see that the task doesn't disappear from the board like it does in the list view. It just kind of grays out a little bit. So, um, uh, that's why I have this complete column over here. It's so that when it's complete, I can mark the task as done, but then I can get it off my board as well. Um, so a few a few things to point out. Um, yeah, you can just obviously click the car the plus button at the top to start a new card. Or what I've done in this view is all of these tasks you can see here actually come from other projects. And there are no cards in here that are unique to this project. So for example, I'm planning a goal planning workshop at the moment. You can see this actually lives in a few different projects. It's in the Kanban project here. You can see it's in my products project and it's in my content product uh, project because I have to plan it into my content calendar as well. So this, this task actually lives in three different places. Um, and uh, th that's kind of a similar story with these other things here is and, and, and this project is basically being used to summarize my priorities. It's being used to plan out what I'm working on right now and um, what I've completed and kind of what I have coming through the pipe. Whereas if I just lived in these other projects here, if I was just clicking through them, I can't easily see what's kind of work in progress. Whereas with the Kanban approach, like hit like this, I can kind of see what's in progress and what's kind of coming through in the next few weeks. So that's um, one of the benefits I think of using this column Kanban approach for, for kind of creating a priorities project for yourself. Another project I've set up is this ideas project. Um, so I have a lot of ideas of like books and courses and other materials that I'd like to make. And I did, I used to have them stored in this products project, but there's quite a lot of them and it was getting quite full. And so I wanted to just move them into another space to have them live somewhere where I can kind of brainstorm a bit better. And I think this, the, the layout, uh, the board layout really suits kind of uh, brainstorming and planning a little bit. And um, it's quite nice to kind of break everything down into different types of content that you can see here, um, rather than keeping it in the products project. Um, all of these, uh, all of these tags, all of these tasks, sorry, have the someday tag. I've actually marked them for someday, which is a GTD concept, which is why they've all got this kind of pink little color next to them.
Um, I'll flick back to the Kanban project quickly. One final thing I'll just show you is the images. This is quite cool. The images you can see here are, these come from the attachments that are attached to the task. So you can see I have a couple of images here. So I've got this graph and I've got another image down here. And the the thumbnail that you can see, that's where that the, the thumbnail is coming from. But I can um, choose a new image. If I wanted, I could switch the image to this one um, to basically set the kind of thumbnail image for that task. So that's a cool little extra feature that you can play with as well. So there you have it. That's kind of a very um, basic approach to how I'm using the new Asana boards. Like I said, if you have any recommended tips, I would love to hear them. Leave me a comment, and thanks very much for watching.